What is going on guys, Greggles TV. This is a review slash should you buy the Fire TV Cube? And I'm gonna answer that really quickly and then we'll get into things I like about this product. Um, first off, if all you do is watch TV, movies, videos, maybe play some light gaming, then you're completely fine with not getting this product. You can get one of the other Fire TV, TVs, either the Fire TV Stick or the regular Fire TV. And there, there is, they're 50 or up to like, you know, 70, $80 cheaper than what this gives you. So save your money otherwise, cause you know, this is basically gonna give you is the ability to do functions with your voice without having to do anything with a remote. So if that, talking to this device without a remote, is important to you get this otherwise you're fine with those other devices because this really doesn't do anything more than those other products do but anyways let me talk about this product and why I actually really like it so I went into this I bought it and I was like eh, it's kind of an interesting seemingly pro seeming product you don't need a remote you can kind of control it with your voice and you can you can definitely control this with your voice with no remote. I actually do it quite a bit and it's actually getting addicting uh, when I do it. So I would definitely give it um, uh, eight, nine out of 10 in terms of uh, uh, how well it works with your voice. It, it's, there's steps you have to do, like for instance, um, when you wanna control it, I'll show you how you're gonna control it now. Alexa, play Drama World on Netflix. Getting Drama World from Netflix. Alexa, skip ahead three minutes. Alexa, skip ahead three minutes. Alexa, go home. Alexa, go to settings. Alexa, show me Walking Dead. Here's what I found. Alexa, number one. Alexa, show seasons. Alexa, scroll to the right. Alexa, number seven. Alexa, number three. Alexa, play. Also, just the overall experience of using this device, it's pretty lag free. There's certain stutters here and there that um, if you use enough, you'll see some, some stuttering when you're jumping around with a remote, just you know, going back and forth through the uh, UI, the, the operating system. Uh, but otherwise, it's pretty damn smooth. Talking to it does take a little bit of time sometimes. It definitely would be quicker without the remote, with, with the remote than without the remote. Um, but you know, some people like myself don't always have the remote or sometimes I just wanna be able to say, hey, play this, and I don't wanna have to go search for that remote. And this does that and it does it well. Other cool thing about this product is you don't always have to have your TV on in order to use it. For instance, you could be, um, you know, sitting over there and tell the Alexa to, hey, you know, what's the weather? And it'll spit out the weather because it has a built-in speaker, eight microphones. So it picks up audio really well in terms of what you say to it. One of the things I, I had some issues with, and I don't have this caught on a recording, is it did pick up times where it thought I was talking or it thought the TV was talking because it thought it was my voice. And it paused the video and it says, what's going on? You know, what do you want? And I, I didn't say the keyword at all. So that was one one annoying thing, I guess, but it didn't, it happened literally maybe two or three times, that's it. And it hasn't happened in the last few days I've been using this. So it doesn't happen all the time, but keep in mind it might trigger, you know, just thinking you're talking to it even though you're not. But otherwise guys, this product I would definitely recommend in terms of if you want something like uh, a smart speaker and a, a, a streaming TV box all in one, this is the thing to get, it's really well, it works really well. You can control your smart devices, you have your smart lights and all that kind of stuff or if you wanna get into that. I would say get this, I wouldn't tell you to get maybe this and an Echo Dot and put them side by side. I would say just get this, why not? It does double duty and you don't have to plug in two things and it just works well. Um, I've had no issues with playing video, video works really, really well, it looks good. 4K, HDR stuff looks awesome. Um, 
I'm impressed. I, I, I came in not thinking I would be, and I definitely am. So if you want to pick this up, I'll link it down below. Uh, and then, like I said in the beginning of the video, if, if some of the extra features that this does, like the smart home features and the um, not using this without a remote isn't important to you, then just get the other Fire TV sticks or Fire TVs because they're basically the same thing. Thanks for watching, guys. See you down the road. Peace.